and what's next when we go person to person. Well, welcome back to CBS News Mornings. The time now is 730 and here's a look at some of today's top stories. Alabama resumed lethal injections this morning, executing 64 year old James Barber. He was convicted and sentenced to death for killing 75 year old Dorothy Epps in 2001. Prosecutors say Barber was a handyman who confessed to beating her with a hammer and running away with her purse. This is Alabama's first execution in 2023. The state halted them last year after several botched attempts sparked major controversies. Oklahoma also executed a death row inmate yesterday, its second one this year. Republican Senator Chuck Grassley released an FBI document about unverified allegations involving the president and his son Hunter Biden. The memo focuses on Hunter's alleged business dealings when he served on the board of a Ukrainian energy company, Burisma. An FBI informant claims that the company CEO suggested making two separate $5 million payments to each of the Bidens. Republicans have intensified their investigation as the 2024 election approaches. However, Democrats slammed the latest developments, saying Congress reviewed and debunked similar allegations made by Rudy Giuliani during the 2020 race. The federal government is investigating why passengers aboard a Delta flight were left on a tarmac for more than three hours in extreme heat. It happened Monday at the Las Vegas airport where temperatures reportedly reached 111 degrees. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is demanding answers. The reports are shocking and we are investigating. I want to know how it was possible for passengers to be left in triple digit heat on board an airplane for that long. Even at normal temperatures, a tarmac delay is not supposed to go that long and we have rules about that, which we're actively enforcing and this is being investigated right now. Well, several people on board were rushed to the hospital while first responders helped others. Delta apologized for the incident and says that passengers received some type of compensation. Deadly heat continues to 